Hi all, in this presentation, we will go over how to use Python to replicate the Fama French five-factor model. This is an extension of the three-factor model. Please refer to the three-factor model video and complete the code for that tutorial before beginning this tutorial. First, an introduction to the five-factor model. The five-factor model includes the factors from the three-factor model, which are SMB, so that's small minus big, HML, high minus low, and market, average market return. In this model, we add two more factors, RMW and CMA. The RMW represents the difference between the average return of robust firms, those with high operating profitability, and that of weak firms, those with low profitability. The CMA represents the difference between the return of firms that invest conservatively and that of firms that invest aggressively. Similar to the SMB and HML, the RMW and CMA are expected to be positive because robust and conservative firms were found to outperform their counterpart parts in the long run. The robustness and aggressiveness of a firm is determined by the operating profitability and the investment, respectively. The operating profitability is calculated by the ratio of the difference between the annual revenue and total operating expenses to the book equity or book value. The investment is calculated by the ratio of the total assets taken at the end of the last fiscal year to the total assets taken at the end of the fiscal year two years before. Now that we have gone over the new factors, let's take a look at the results. In table one, we show our distribution of the values of the three factors versus Fama French's distribution labeled in FF. The table shows that 33 months of data were analyzed and all units are in percentages. The distributions of all five factors we constructed were almost identical to the form of French's results, suggesting our code replicated theirs accurately. In table two, we show the correlation between all factors in the data. Similar to the three-factor model, we are interested in the three boxed values, which compare our data to their corresponding form of French data. All five correlations are greater than 0 0.9, showing a reasonably accurate replication once again. So now we go over the changes and additions to the three-factor model Python code that we made to obtain our new results. First, make a copy of the three-factor model code in the same folder. And again, if you haven't yet completed the tutorial for the three-factor model, please go back and do that now and reference our three-factor video. The first five steps from connecting Google Drive to importing the CCM CSV file remain unchanged. Our first changes occur at step six when cleaning the copy stat data frame. When parsing the variables, we include these four boxed columns for the new factors. Similarly, when we convert variables, we include these four boxed columns for the new factors, which are total revenue, cost of goods sold, interest expense, selling general administrative expenses. When filtering our data, instead of just taking dates after 2018, we need all dates after 2017, since we need total assets from two years before reference dates to rank firms' aggressiveness. And that's why this is 2017. In addition to adding the book value, we also include the total assets column and add the operating profitability to our CompuStat data. For keeping the last observation of each year, and dropping null infant values, we keep everything unchanged. Next, we add a new step, add in the investment column. We previously sorted the data frame by the firm identifier and then date, and we also only took the last observation of each year. Thus, we can check if the firm identifier is equal to the previous. If so, that means they are data of the same firm from two consecutive years, and we take the ratio of the total assets between the columns. Again, we drop missing infinite values in case of missing infinite in missing slash infinite investment data. Adding the reference date column remains unchanged from the three-factor model code. This is our expected output for the cleaned CompuSet data. Next, we edit the stock's data code. The only revision in this code is to include the two new columns while left joining the stock's data frame with CompuStat data frame. Other parts remain the same. This is our new stocks data, which has two more columns than its three-factor model counterpart. The size sort and value sort code remains the exact same. 
the, the return should also be similar with the two new columns included being the difference. After the size and value sorts, we insert a new code block sorted for robustness. The entire code of the robustness sort is shown here. As you may notice, the only difference between this block and the value sort block is different variable names and portfolio names. Otherwise, they function the exact same way, so we will not go into detail about this code. This is our expected output. Next, we add another new code block to sort by investment. Again, the code for this investment sort is very similar to value and robustness sorts. And this is our expected output. Next, we construct the factors portfolio, and this block is largely modified. So we will go over the entire code. First, we calculate the average weighted returns the same way as the three-factor model. But now we have six different group by variables with different indexing. Next, we create the factors data frame to store our results. This is unchanged from the three-factor model. Then we add the SMB values. In this model, since we have three different ways of dividing small and big firms into three different portfolios, we use all three and take the average of all three to calculate even more precise SMB values. Next, we add in the other four portfolios. The HML and MKT remain unchanged, while the new RMW and CMA follow the same pattern of the HML. Finally, we clean the data frame. The only change here is that we are selecting two new factors. This is our expected output. Then we import and clean the Fama French factors from the Fama French website again. Everything will remain the same besides selecting and cleaning two extra columns of data. Make sure to download the correct CSV files from the website, five, not three factors, and to read and modify it in Excel first to make it readable by Python. The code is presented in these three slides, but you should be able to edit your code independently to complete this part. Finally, we compare our results to Fama French results. Here are the distributions of all the data. These are the results of the KS tests. Recall that the statistic is the maximum difference between two distributions. The p-value is the how where the confidence level it falls. Finally, here are the correlations. It appears our code worked as intended, replicating all factors to be above a 0 0.9 correlation, a reasonably precise replication. So that, that is it for the Fama French five-factor replication. I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, please check out our video for where we get into explaining the Fama French five-factors in a more conceptual way. Thank you, and have a great day.